Hello and welcome to this learning video. In this learning video, I am back with a new variety of problem that uh, we are going to learn in this learning dialogue. So without wasting time, let us see this uh, problem. So here the third problem namely uh, solve xn plus 2 plus 3xn plus 1 plus 2xn is equal to u of n and we are given x0 is 1 and xn is equal to 0 for n less than 0. Now why I am calling this problem to be of a different variety because here only x0 is given to you and x1 is not given to you because looking at this xn plus 2 I need x0 and x1 but x0 is given and x1 is not given to you for that we are given one condition okay that is the one thing uh, behind the uh, motto behind taking this problem and second thing is uh, this un what happened most of the time in the examination student get confused with this u of n this u of n is the unit step function so please keep in mind if anything is given in the right hand side like u of n something like so that is the uh, unit step function okay so can we start with this problem now okay so let us start with this given equation is given equation is so what is the given equation given equation is x n plus 2 plus 3 x n plus 1 plus 2 x n is equal to u n this is what we have okay as my equation now after the first step the second step says take z transform so taking z transform taking z transform on both side on both sides we get so what i will be getting after taking the z transform on both sides i will be getting z transform of x n plus 2 plus 3 times z transform of x n plus 1 plus 2 times z transform of x n is equal to z transform of u n that is my unit step function okay now using the result it's a good practice to write down the result in order to avoid any uh, silly mistake so again i am writing using z transform of f of n plus k is same as z power k into f of z minus f0 minus f1 by z minus f2 by z square minus and so on okay now using this result uh, apply here so what i will be writing z transform of xn plus 2 k is equal to 2 okay so just write down it to be z power 2 in bracket we have x of z minus x0 minus x1 by z this complete z transform of first term now let us write down z transform of the next term that is 3 z uh, transform of this is going to be z power 1 into x of z minus x0 okay this is z transform of second term plus what about this 2 x of z is equal to what is z transform of uh, unit step function do you remember z transform of unit step function or z transform of 1 is z upon z minus 1 z upon z minus 1 see this is to be my equation 1 okay and solve this we have some values over here x0 so i can substitute but uh, x0 is equal to 1 okay so just substitute it here so it is uh, z square x of z minus this is 1 this is z square minus x1 is unknown which is not given to us plus 3z x of z minus 3z plus 2 x of z is equal to z upon z minus 1 
okay now collect the like terms which are the like terms this this and this so z square plus 3z plus 2 x of z x of z is uh, okay this is, these are the terms and the remaining terms i have is like z square minus of okay minus of z square minus of 3z minus of x1z x1 by z is equal to z upon z minus 1 okay so z square minus uh, x1 by z and minus 3z clear mm. i think uh, this when i multiply this this x1 by z will be x1z so let me write it as x1z okay multiplying z square to this i will be getting z square x of z z square x0 is 1 and 1z get cancelled x1z is remaining okay so we remain with this now now see this is to be my equation number 2 now i can uh, solve this further only when i will get the value of x1 but x1 is not given to you and that is the reason i am taking this problem okay x1 is not given but some condition is given to us right that is xn is equal to 0 for n less than 0 so what we have to find out x1 so what i need to substitute in equation 1 in order to get x1 so what i can do i can put a, a, n is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1 so i can get x1 from here right so what i will do here i will write for x1 for x1 put putting n is equal to minus 1 in equation 1 we get so what i will be getting so i have this equation and now i have to put n is equal to minus 1 or here so what i will be getting i will be getting x1 plus 3 minus 1 plus 1 0 so x0 plus 2 x minus 1 is equal to u is equal to u n n is equal to minus 1 okay is equal to u minus 1 now just see here x1 we have to find out plus 3 x0 is 1 plus 2 what is x minus 1 as it is given that xn is 0 for n less than 0 here n is minus 1 less than 0 so its value is 0 and u minus 1 u minus 1 u being the unit step function it, it will have value when n is equal to 0 1 2 and so on and it will have value 0 if n is less than 0 so this is minus 1 so this is also 0 so I will be getting here now x1 is equal to minus 3 very simple now i get x1 to be minus 3 substitute here okay so when i substitute here in the equation number 2 i will write it as like equation 2 becomes see here now now I'm, what i am doing i am just uh, putting the value of x1 equal to minus 3 over here so what i will be getting i will be getting it to be as uh, equation 2 becomes so what does this equation 2 gives this is like z square plus 3z plus 2 into x of z minus z square uh, minus 3z and what is the value of x1 minus 3 and already minus sign is there so this is plus 3z is equal to z upon z minus 1 
this becomes now very simple okay so what I am gonna do here is now I will take this term of z to the left okay wait wait let me write it uh, properly z square plus 3z plus 2 x of z is equal to z upon z minus 1 plus z square simple now you can take this uh, 1z uh, okay you just take LCM again so it is like uh, the roots are uh, 1 and 2 so say this is to be z plus 1 z plus 2 z square 2z 1z 3z 2 1z 2 take LCM of this so this is z this is z cube minus z square upon what is it what is it z minus 1 so it is like this only okay z square minus z i can take one z common from here and uh, give it to this left hand side to get the filling of partial fraction so this is x z by z 1 z i am taking here so i remain with 1 z so this is 1 plus z square minus z upon z minus 1 z plus 1 z plus 2 okay now solve this so this is like z square minus z plus 1 okay now apply partial fraction here again very simple and uh, try to get uh, okay let me write here again partial fraction so let me do it here so what is it yeah this one 1 plus z square minus z upon these factors z plus 1 z let me write it as z minus 1 z plus 1 z plus 2 and this is same as a upon z minus 1 plus b upon z plus 1 plus c upon z plus 2 okay so this is what uh, we have now we can do uh, find out the value of a b c so a can be found out <laughs> now you are you know the tricks right so a can be found out by putting z is equal to 1 in the left hand side so this get cancelled so we have 1 upon 1 plus 1 2 and uh, 1 plus 2 3 so a is equal to 1 by 6 okay likewise you can find out b to get b you, you have to put z is equal to minus 1 so this is uh, z is equal to minus 1 so 1 plus 1 minus 1 so this is 1 upon what is it uh, forget about this so minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and this is plus 1 so this is minus 1 by 2 then c put z is equal to minus 2 z is equal to minus 2 means 1 plus 4 minus minus plus 2 so this is uh, 7 upon uh, what about this minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 and here minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 so this is 7 by 3 so 1 by 6 i am getting the values like uh, 1 by 6 and then uh, b 1 by 6 uh, 3 minus 3 by 2 or 7 by 3 let me check for this once again z is equal to minus 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 yes so this is 3 so this is minus 3 by 2 okay so these are the values I am getting it now try to express this x of z therefore x of z upon z is equal to what is it remove this by the partial fraction by taking the values of a b c so you can write 1 by 6 1 upon z minus 1 plus b b is minus 3 by 2 so minus 3 by 2 1 upon z plus 1 uh, next one is c that is uh, plus 7 by 3 
plus 7 by 3 it is 1 upon z uh, plus 2 okay so now you can uh, solve this further rest of the things are very easy just a uh, matter of writing you just have to write it down okay so let me continue with this therefore or I can write implication therefore x of z is equal to 1 by 6 z upon z minus 1 minus 3 by 2 z upon z plus 1 plus 7 by 3 z upon z plus 2 okay so I am having this now take the inverse z transform so you can write here taking taking inverse z transform taking inverse z transform on both sides on both sides we get so what i will be getting here is that z inverse of x of z is equal to 1 by 6 z inverse of z upon z minus 1 minus 3 by 2 z inverse of z upon z plus 1 plus 7 by 3 z inverse of z upon z plus 2 okay now you can directly write so this is xn x of n is equal to 1 by 6 1 power n minus 3 by 2 z inverse of this minus 1 power n plus 7 by 3 this is z transform of uh, minus 2 power n and this is nothing but the required solution for the given difference equation so i hope the things that have been covered here in this learning video is clear to you we have taken different varieties of problem just to uh, have variety in uh, what type of questions may be there how can we solve different variety of problems what should be our approach to the different problems okay different approach to the different problems so this is what we have in this learning video so thank you for watching and enjoy learning mathematics thank you